you really have to, uh, you know, relate to them on the channels where they are. And if they are, you know, 18 year old, you really have to go where they are. If it's TikTok, if it's Facebook, if it's Instagram, you have to go there and you cannot be the, you know, the odd one out. Like the, we, we got a lot of research feedback. Um, we had a lot of uh, audience research done um, back at the council. And we always got the feedback that the EU institutions, it's like, you know, you have, a, you have a room of young people and all of a sudden this old guy comes and tries to talk the slang of the young people. Um, so I think this is something the institution or organization will always have to um, struggle with a bit. Um, and we already know that one, one size doesn't fit all. Um, so you always have to adapt. Um, and I think that's the key. And um, and of course, depending also on your resources, I don't think I don't think it makes sense to be to be on each and every single platform if it doesn't really make sense for your audience. So do the one where most of your audience is and do it well. And I mean, you should get you should get some results. Yeah, that's a great bit of advice. Um, I heard some colleagues in the industry, Andrew and Pete in the UK, describe that as the 90-10 rule, put 90% of the effort into one platform and then 10% into the others. And it's really difficult, even as social media managers, to do that. You need to be very, very strict on yourself. And then you feel that you're missing out on other platforms. 